Yingling. What's Most up? important thing about being a gentleman right now. To Stop grabbing my beard. Oh, wow. Cleaning your glasses. <laughs> Cleaning your glasses. <laughs> being a gentleman in three, two, one. A be, be off. <laughs> so then I said, no, not that chauffeur. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Hey, hello, everybody. Hello, everybody out there in the audience. Hey, um, welcome it? back to the Yard Podcast. Intro right in the beginning. Sorry, wait. Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos back to the Yard Podcast. Uh, today, we are here with just a regular episode, but this time, a little bit more gentlemanly. We're so dapper. You Let put, me cut to the chase. How about you cut to it, Chase? Bank? You two have been cut, as well as my friend Chase. Anyway... <laughs> We've had a few difficulties with the past few episodes getting demonetized due to Susan. YouTube doesn't think that being a little our uncouth. podcast is YouTube worthy. Doesn't think that the advertisers would be happy with what we produce and being associated alongside with it. And we're here to prove them that we can be downright classy. Dare I say gentlemen. We're classy gentlemen, Susan. We can really snap and also slay, so we're hoping to do both of those today. And, and, and Slime, normally normally I might raise my voice at you here, but I'd, I just, you're not sitting in your chair and prepared, and I'm wondering Not very you, gentleman-like. I'm wondering if you could be more of a gentleman He for was us. also late to our daily TOS reading today, which I didn't appreciate. Mm, sidebar, is this a demerit? Might be a demerit. This is looking like the it's first demerit, demerit of the podcast. Well, dude, it's not a demerit. Just the, a clarifier. The, I'm sorry, are you calling me a dude? Like <laughs> a peasant? For anyone watching. Sorry, uh, qu queen. Uh, <laughs> thank yeah, you. The demerit system, please, Ludwig. If anybody says a swear or anything that's uncouth or ungentlemanly, they will get a demerit and will receive a swift backhand from one of us to the yeah, face. Just like in the ancient times of and Great I would, Brimpton. If you don't mind, like to call out our first demerit. What did I do? No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? Sir Aiden. Aiden! Oh, Aiden Sir has a bit of a demerit. Aiden of Loxley. Sir Aiden of Loxley? What did you do? What? Well, you got, <laughs> for one, you're good old, you're good old fashioned. Look at this. He's wearing a, a suit that looks like he just came from a wedding, and then, or excuse me, a funeral, and then he has a, uh, a tag on it, and it says, British tradition meets Japanese spirit, which is cultural appropriation. What does that Shame mean? Shame on you. What the, and then what stand the up, stand up, stand up, stand up, and turn around. Show them the back. He left on the small cross stitch that stops the flaps from flapping as a gentleman's flaps should wow. flap. Wow. So your gentleman flaps are just waving in the you wind have, all stinky. You have stolen gentleman valor. Yeah. So is that a demerit? Is that, so the, the demerit that we decided is that it, you get... I almost, I almost said it. Oh my god. You, you get backhanded. Yes. Like for real. Yes. So, but I don't think that counts because we were just saying no. swears are a demerit. My, no. just swear my, I just want to hear his reason. My tailor don't wasn't say my available. Tailor. You went to this meds. morning. My okay. tailor wasn't available this morning. Right. And uh, yeah, we happens. have the same tailor. So, right. so. And I wouldn't dare handle this fine fabric myself. Uh huh. So, you would know as a. As a fellow gentleman, I thought you would know that. Right. So if you are someone at home watching and you leave those cross stitches, you will look like a total... Buffoon! Um, buffoon. You look like a buffoon! Dare I say silly goose? I don't know. Man, so I didn't think Ludwig was wearing a belt, but he is wearing a belt. Would it be ungentlemanly of me uh -huh. to... To to grab his member <laughs> <laughs> with my hand. Yeah. Why? Yeah, I took the sexual harassment training course last night. In wait, that you just did it. I did it. Oh. Just now. Well, I have Dude, to do. We, we're supposed to do that in like April. I know. I have to do an extra long one. Oh, because you're because I'm big, a supervisor. Because you're a big boss. There's so a I, question in there. It's like if your bald coworker touches your member until you. Climax. <laughs> yeah, that is big. Also, I get one. Is that what I mean? This bald guy gets one. What get one? What you get one? Like, hey, I, ungentlemanly yes, act. Yes, but you have to claim the one time before you say it. This oh, is my one time. He gets to cash. No, you don't get to touch my member because that's one of my one time. Wait, I don't get a one time. I both use your one time. Am times. I not a superhero? Both of you, just, you use it as an attack, and he uses as a block. I didn't do anything. You never, get to, you never get to one time touch my member. Why? That's because that involves me. Your one time is a you thing. Each employee gets their one member touch. That's right. Per year, I'm per using fiscal year. My one time, Aiden's not my wife. Oh, that's kind of cool. We're married. You're married. We to should him now. redo the training. I think <laughs> it would be helpful because I feel like we missed some lessons and maybe we were distracted by David Schwimmer. I haven't done the training. <laughs> yeah, it shows because it's so gentlemanly. It's within me. You know what I told the Aiden training? today? I made the training. I don't know oh. if I told you guys that. I told Aiden it. 
I can tell you haven't done the training, not because of you harassing people, but because of how often you let people harass you. And I don't think he knows what the difference is yet. That is true. You are mm. kind of an open book. Uh huh. Just you want to say they will get harassed more. and come home and be like, I actually met such a cool dude today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he grabbed my face and like kissed me passionately, and I pulled away, and then we hung out for another seven hours. That is a <laughs> funny thing to say because <laughs> that a- did happen. Kind of. I'm open and loose like a pillow sack. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Like a like a hobo stick and bundle with all kinds of tools. With in all it? kinds of tools. And and cheeses. And surprisingly found. large items in it. <laughs> this is tasteless, by the way. Considering Are you talking about what his, happened last week this, and all the things that have been happening, well, well, this is a tasteless bit. His experience. This is a tasteless bit, and you've brought tastelessness into this I podcast. I apologize for bringing the tastelessness in. I was talking about my McDonald's experience that Aiden's also gone through. Do you think that Ronald McDonald is? A gentleman as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. He's a clown. So? He created McDonald's, <laughs> where gentlemen go to feast. How could he not himself be a gentleman? <laughs> you said he's a clown. I'll dismiss him. He's a like clown, a, like a jerk. You're telling me someone had the idea to make chicken that cheap, and they weren't a gentleman. And in the shape of a nugget. Also, why do you think chicken is their main thing? Do you think that chicken nuggets are should be the default? <laughs> <laughs> Why, when you are a gentleman, do you become creepy? <laughs> I mean, You're creepy. Is that not, the commentary is that not what a gentleman does? Look, is, is that it, not it, who a gentleman is? So funny. You this, know what? This is how gentlemen speak. You know what I keep picturing? I keep picturing in my head this scene in uh, in, in the Robin Hood the cartoon Kodow. where where he leans Let over go, and sucks the diamonds off his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, can we all get one big ring suck? <laughs> yeah, let us suck your ring, boss. Being a gentleman is about. Cigarettes. <laughs> there we go. And what we didn't even come to think about it. Family. We didn't even kiss you on the cheek when we came up here to that pay respects. True. We actually should have done the French intro. Uh, do you guys? Because we're about, late. Can we kiss you on the mouth? Can we kiss you on the mouth because <laughs> it's a punishment? We you all two? go in as three. <laughs> are you? You become terrible people. Stop touching me. <laughs> Look, I did some gentleman study, and this is where it got me. Is I'm a bit of a gentleman. I'm a bit of a creep. It's like the same <laughs> sort of realm. Have I told you guys how I taught enough? myth to smoke cigarettes like a gentleman? Wait, how do you, you taught, do that? Did you teach him to smoke cigarettes? Yes. Or he already knew how and he this taught him how to do it. This like is a a f- I, was, it I was I made him smoke his first ever cigarette. At I f- introduced it to him, which is like Wait. a weird thing to do in 2022. Whoa! <gasps> you get demerit. You what get back in. Do you demerit? Demerit. 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 Stand up. Stand up. I'm gonna backhand you. I get, to, I get to do it. I get to do it. No. I backhand him. Nick gets to do the first backhand. Because he would set a better precedent of what a backhand should be, as opposed to slime, who I don't trust. I I mean, I would destroy him. That's why you're not doing it first. Zipper, can we see this? Zipper's also dressed up. I'm, when I'm doing in, this in the because uh, he he wrongfully did the gentleman. You just do so. it. Just do it. You said a bad word. Audio listeners, we have Aiden standing tall, looking like he went to like his first ever funeral. Didn't even cut the back flaps. Nick... Getting ready, puts right Nick foot has a first. Bol- I've never seen a man in a bolo tie slap somebody. Yeah, he's which trying is to get kind of funny. Power from the legs here. He's really milking this moment. Dude, uh, he's setting it up. Oh, wow, that was so clean. That was great. That was an extremely clean backhand. That was, that was very mechanical. Yeah, that was like <laughs> that was the most gentlemanly. That was a backhand I've a ever Nigel seen. Houston backhand. Yeah, that's how they backhand in like Game of Thrones. And if to you children. look at my wife ever again, it'll be two. That's right. So wait, it, wait. I, he's your wife. Is this anecdote not from excrement <laughs> camp? <laughs> yes. From the, you look at a mirror again. again. <laughs> a gentleman would never double dip on the same story that he told just two weeks prior. Oh! The ex, it's the excrement zeitgeist, by the way. First, second. I don't think I did. I tell this a hundred percent. You talked about smoking cigarettes when you were drunk, but you're also bringing up things from S camp, which is cringe. Excrement zeitgeist. Oh, I see. Renamed That's what it. you did. We're I just there. call it S camp seven. Yeah, this <laughs> like is yeah, called the seven. seven. <laughs> this was with Seer and Myth, right? Did I, I thought I told you this privately, not on the pod. It was on the pod. Oh, then never mind. We don't speak privately. Gentlemen wow, never I, speak I swear, privately. If you would have just not brought up a bit twice, he would not have been reprimanded. Yeah, that's true. That's kind of right. It was like I'm a honey tray. That was a honey trap. The is that not a demerit? Doubly, no. Double tipping? What I mean, the we, with the demeriting is Not no, everything is a demerit. Yeah, you're being unreasonable. That's it's a, a demerit, it's by disgusting. the way, calling things demerits that aren't demerits. <laughs> demerit! <laughs> uh, anyway, the skinny of it is that we made him smoke cigarettes and then do movie lines while smoking cigarettes. Which movie lines? It would be like like fake ones like from the 50s. Like you could imagine with like smooth jazz. And then someone comes up and be like, did you hear about Rebecca? And then you have to drag and you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that old wench. That's what gentlemen say. Gentlemen say wench. How do gentlemen disparage women? They actually are as misogynistic <laughs> yeah. as 
anyone else. If not more. Can we get Faye Zuma on the pod to teach us? <laughs> dude, Don't understand the reference. Dude, really? No. It was it was a big deal. It was a Faye guy, and he was like, hey, are we allowed to quote things as gentlemen? Uh, yeah. Would, sure. Okay. A gentleman YouTube, would censor. YouTube gentleman TOS would censor. does not discriminate. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, rise! <laughs> dude, I can't believe I did that. That is, that is so funny. I like it. That was just... Wow. I don't want rise. to get back in. Rise. Gentlemen. Please rise. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Ow. Man, I that I hope you learned sucks. a lesson. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Maybe you'll be more gentleman than now. <laughs> hey, I'll be as gentleman <laughs> as you need. Now, let's no, get to he was something. reaching for the other let's get, <laughs> let's get to something gentlemanly. Could we talk for a moment about <laughs> Linus Tech Tips scrotum? What? what? You're allowed to say scrotum. Linus texts your tip. Linus texts your tip. What scrotum? What did his scrotus do? So I, I was at the YouTube Creator Summit past week, which is basically 100 YouTubers in a room. And then they have YouTube execs pulling up PowerPoint slides. Is it like a pimped out, uh, it, mm. no mm. no loads refused ejaculation dump event? I don't know what you're saying. I'm going to say what I was going to say, and then you can draw the parallels. It was 100 YouTubers in a room. Were watching, you allowed to refuse? Why don't you just let me finish, and then you can a, make the call? Was it a promiscuous affair? What, it, no one had 100 YouTubers in a room. What, are we playing Fortnite? Oh! That's <laughs> <laughs> Aiden. That's right. Aiden. Rise, Aiden. As <laughs> they slap, I'm gonna go through this. Maybe I'm starting to realize as we do this, maybe we are the reason we're getting demonetized. Maybe we deserve it. That if, was the worst backhand of all time from Aiden. <laughs> Actually, embarrassing. If we you can't, hit my, I, you hit my neck bone. If we can't even get I, through I the episode without cursing, maybe like it is our five problem. minutes in. We're actually embarrassingly bad. Maybe it's him. It is a lot of him. All right. Uh, anyway, is this in Los Angeles? YouTube Creator Summit. It was in Palm Springs. First time I ever went there. It is crazy how that's in the <laughs> desert. Are you guys going to let me say a story? <laughs> this is absurd. <laughs> Were any loads refused is my only question before you finish. I'm not going to answer questions at this time. I'm saving them for the that end. That means that no loads were refused. To me, it means he's a gentleman. Because gentlemen don't. No, gentlemen don't tell about tell. Which, which loads are <laughs> were not allowed. Okay, go on. You met Linus. That's not the part of the story I'm at. Why? Oh, we. I went to the summit. <laughs> I'm done. No, no, no. I talked about Linus and I, I talked about vasectomies. That's it. Ludwig, come That's on. Sorry, I can't Ludwig. do it. I can't do it in this in this temperament. Ludwig. Why? Hey, a gentleman changes his. A gentleman doesn't put his feet up. What? No. A gentleman sits up in his chair. Uh. <laughs> I feel like I feel like a gentleman may have a cigar. Or their feet up and when they're lounging and no. relaxed. I day. am a gentleman. Can you see my gentleman berries? Can you see my gentleman? <laughs> my gentleman. You become a child. My ge have you seen my gentleman and his berries? Can you see it through the pants? Can you see my harvest? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Listen. In other news that's more exciting than yours. <laughs> Gentlemen also know how to how to dig at each other, but by doing it in a dapper way, and that's what I did to Ludwig. Look at these guys; they're laughing their butts off. Okay, sure. Okay, that's how Hassan's is mm -hmm, okay. I've noticed. Mm -hmm. Are really you like on an ADHD derail right now? Where are you bringing us? I just haven't been. I haven't had Twitter for a week, and that's what I was going to bring up. I'm unbanned now. That's what you wanted to bring up is your Twitter. Do you think that's more interesting than you talking about Linus teching your? I would tip? like to know about the summit. I, I would, would also love like to, to know as well, about but he the got summit. All mad. <laughs> what? <laughs> when? Oh, it seems he's been a ruffle. <laughs> <laughs> that is not gentlemanly. That is, that is not gentlemanly. <laughs> D. Barrett. D. Barrett. Oh, D. Barrett. Dude, he touched my berry. <laughs> that's a demerit. Is that your one? That has to no, be. No, it's it. my one time. I grabbed his berry. All right, that's his one time. <laughs> you grabbed my hand sexual. CEO, that's your one time, but like my berries are not for your you to fruit. <laughs> you and don't even touch my berries. on his cream. <laughs> You can have one of my berries. Your berries now. are not for you to. Ju my berries are not for you to juice. <laughs> <laughs> so I what? feel more high on this than I did on the mushrooms episode. <laughs> what happened at the YouTube summit? 
<laughs> I, I, I'm worried about the first sentence I say because Slime's already looking to interject. I'm not gonna interject. I won't. Say I it. promise I won't interject. For you have one minute. Go. Uh, the YouTube creator summits a hundred people in a room, and they basically show us PowerPoint presentations to like Mark Rober on how to title and thumbnail. And then Mark Rober looks disapprovingly from the corner because he is way more knowledgeable than anyone presenting. And the real value comes from the breakout conversations that you have with the people there. So I met Mark Rober. I met Try Guys. I met Rhett and Link. Uh, and a lot of like OG YouTubers, uh, but one conversation in my main icebreaker was asking everybody their vice because I wanted to cut through the sheen of YouTube and numbers and BS and wanted to know mm. who was doing crystal meth and heroin. A gentleman wanted to find out 55 what... 55 seconds. Who in the room is not a gentleman? 55 seconds. Is Show Mark timer, Robert Archer. not Markiplier? <laughs> It's a genuine question. They've never question. been in the same room, so we don't know yet. <laughs> we don't know. Who is Mark Rober? Mark, have you seen those videos where there's a contraption that like punishes a package thief? Have you seen those ones? No. He is like Red Room stuff. No, no. no. <laughs> like someone, someone will steal up like an Amazon package, like a very big thing that happens. YouTube. Zip. And then uh, he created a device that when people <laughs> steal the box and they bring it home, it like. Oh! Demerit! 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 I get to do it! I get to slap Nick! Take that off your glasses. That is actually such a sad thing that you have slime hitting you. <laughs> That's tough. Oh, man. So, to wrap up, and I'll I'm explain this so we don't you. delay too much for audio listeners. Mark Rober is the uh, one of the biggest YouTubers on the platform. He averages, I think, the second highest views per video of anybody. After Mr. Bean. After Mr. Bean. Uh, and he's an engineer by trade, this rules. but also a filmmaker who makes YouTube videos. This looks like Ray William Johnson wearing a hat. I think you are trying to describe YouTube knowing one human. What's up for him? I made a box. <laughs> doing What's your up mom, doing, doing your mom. I used to work at Apple. <laughs> uh, and anyway, uh, oh gosh, one of the breakout conversations I, you're hurting. I feel back. I feel like I'm a gentleman again. I feel like for a moment I was forgetting my roots and now I'm back. Yeah, yeah, that's what you have to do, is you have to slap the, the slop out of a man. <laughs> Remove his slop. And that's what we all did. We Actually, are, eight, wait, you're the only one not to get slapped. Kind of reinforcing, yeah. What is it called? Corporal punishment? Capital punishment? Yes, corporal punishment. Now go on. Uh, so to, to wrap up, I, my main icebreaker was, what's your vice? And a lot of people, turns out, do mushrooms who do YouTube. Really? Yes. Depressed But people. then, the R R second R most R common Lincoln answer... are doing mushrooms. That is, certainly... The second most common answer, and the one that was kind of lame, but a lot of people gave, was either a combination of my vice's work or ambition. <laughs> That's so cringe. One of the people who <laughs> yeah, said that. I work too hard. I don't know what to say. Line of sec tips. That was his vice. Yeah, I can see it. But to his core, it's true because I was like, I was like, alcohol. He's like, no, I don't drink weed. He's like, no, I just don't do that. I was like, do you overeat? He's like, look at me. <laughs> and I was like, "All right, I mean, that's that's all he has: his kids, his wife, and My then his job." Is showing up early, the Linus. Okay, I will say there's a. So I've been watching tech YouTube for a long time. We all know this. I've been. Uh, I talked you, to him about you. What really, man? Yeah. What did Linus say about it, man? All right. Nothing in particular. He just went, "Oh, cool." Because I went. My friend watches all your videos. Oh. And that was about. You didn't tell him about the. And wants to turn you out in the barn. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't I didn't tell him that. that to I me. didn't tell him that. No, I figure what's what's um, Luke already. Luke already Luke, broke Luke that probably, open on the WAN show. He's working on that. Yeah, he's really yeah, warming his way in, getting that together, getting you to turn him out. We need a barn, and we need just a <laughs> yeah, a, just a, a. They're working on the barn. A winning attitude, really. Um, but I, I was gonna say Linus is interesting because like he came up in the same time where it's like a bunch of other tech YouTubers. There's like Paul's Hardware, there's Gamers Nexus, there's Jay's Two Cents, there's uh, S S Greg Salazar, who actually was branded as Science Studio, and then just started doing tech stuff, and now he's Greg Salazar, and he's got really big teeth. There's Shoe Nice. Uh, and, then and then there's Shoe Nice. He, he, he's eating some computer parts. <laughs> and it was funny, because Linus is like kind of blew past all of them in terms of like scale of operation, and you can actually see, like I think Linus's thumbnails are, or at least the channel's thumbnails, are like some of the most evocative. Like... He is truly like in the YouTube sauce while the other people are trying to just like just do themselves. You know what I mean? It's really interesting. What's up? Why evocative are you Evocative versus at me? provocative. Can you explain that to Aiden? Okay. So evocative is prov and when it and then it, it is the provocative. It provokes versus evokes. If it's provocative, some would say it gets the people going. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's all I need to know. <laughs> yeah. And there's this whole thing about Paris and this. <laughs> 
And but yeah, it, it's just really interesting to see like the trajectory. Because Linus said a video where he's like, "How many employees do I have?" And he's like, "I'm Linus." And they're like, "Damn, that's crazy." He's a lot. Yeah, he had the most of anyone that I talked to there. Yeah, it's nuts. We, is that not a demerit? Oh, I did say damn. That's why you can say. <gasps> yeah. Gentlemen can say damn. Oh, of course. Gentlemen get away with that. Of course I, they do. I wanted, You're afraid to say it. Well, you are afraid to say it. Say it. I, You've yet to get slapped. I am of a higher cut than most, though. Uh, you have no cut. Higher yeah, cut actually, down there. You're actually the least cut of gentlemen. It's is damn a bad word. Damn is considered. Zipper brought this up. Damn is considered a swear word in English. Look, we are gentlemen. We can decide how gentlemen act. We don't need Google to tell us how to be a gentleman because if it was that easy, then there would be tons of gentlemen. I want to fill you up with my damn, <laughs> my damn. The way that should be a problem yeah. with whatever he says. Will, at the end. <laughs> any word is any problematic. Word, he, he could say Christ. I yeah. want to, I want to, I want to turn you into a water balloon. <laughs> He's finding ways to be worse. I want to turn you into a water balloon and have the slow mo guys film me my, jumping on you after. My, my barriers. <laughs> Cracking and it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna flood you. I'm like, yeah, I'm a you're a ship and I'm a big you're ancient more octopus. Provocative being a gentleman. Provocative or evocative? <laughs> Both. Okay. Anyway, I talked to Linus and one thing he told me um was that he got a vasectomy. Okay. And I've never really talked to people. The only other people I know who've gotten a vasectomy are some of Judy's family, but I've never been that I've thought about it a lot. Asking. I've thought about it, I don't know how because it works. Busting raw is cool. And also, I didn't know like how you have no no swimmers. So I thought you thought nothing came out. Yes, because he was case. like it was a bit different after it happened. So I was like, when it when you do it now, is it just like? <laughs> and and then and then he looked at me. He's like, like I really like to explain this to you. And then he, <laughs> he's such a prude. That's what uh, that's what climbing chalk is made out of. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they just find people with vasectomies. Yeah, and, and they collect them. them. In a, oh, yeah, in a, they have a, a farm. They have a milking farm. Yeah, but they use a centrifuge on a regular sperm, and then that's how they get it. <laughs> they extract it, yeah. like crack from mm -hmm. cocaine. Uh, so he explained to me the intricacies of a vasectomy, and apparently they have to do an incision. And he was he was a, awake for it, which blew my mind. They didn't put him under. Wow. Yes. Local anesthetic. And and they didn't even use anesthetic. He said they used like a numbing agent. Mm. That's what anesthetic is. That's what local is. anesthetic is. Uh, local, local anesthetic can be a needle that you insert that has oh, I'm sorry. anesthetic oh, they, they in they it. Used, I think it's still... I guess local just means it's, it's local localized means it's to local. a part of your body. Yeah. I don't know the difference. Oh, it's called... Um, into the, I had to do this. Into the uh, the doctors in chat. So they use like a, like a cream? Yeah, that's what, I, that's what it is. They like use a, a nasty cream. little cream they on them. They use tiger balm. And a, and a slap on the cheek. <laughs> and then uh, they just put some sweet baby rays on it. Yeah. <laughs> I got them right Take going. Along. <laughs> and, uh, and then they open you up and then they s snip just like one thing. The vast difference. And he's telling it's me. The, it's the red wire. He was telling me that it's like they're like this in him right now. And there's a chance that they just like 1% chance that they go and they relink by itself. Every Whoa. day for the sperm in his body is that one scene in Interstellar. I was, was going to say it's the Interstellar soundtrack. Dude, Wait, what scene? The docking scene. Oh, and they're like, <laughs> where, bum, where bum. Matthew McConaughey but they never and connect. the other guy. <laughs> oh, and it's, it's just, yeah. they're trying to jump from like rod to rod. <laughs> yeah. And he told me that apparently, because I was like, well, what happens? And he's like, well, now my body absorbs my sperm. And I think that's why he has actually usurped the other tech tubers. Oh, because he has the power of a million children. Because he's semen retaining. It's like stem cells. It's like adrenochrome. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. absorbing his own babies. Yeah, it for is. For mass power. It will do that. He's doing what Nancy Pelosi wishes she could. She does do that. She has other people's vasectomies in her. I was gonna say, yeah, you retain you retain semen by absorbing it constantly. Why do you think so you're just constantly Taiwan, getting guys? turned out? And then and then the semen just absorbs into <laughs> like a baseball in your uterus. They perform them exclusively in Taiwan. That's why they're the powerhouse. That's why China's scared That's of right. us. Because we're gonna we're gonna take because their sperm. Pol because Pelosi's got a glowing orb in her tummy. <laughs> She has the Chaos Emerald. <laughs> That's all that Iron Man's chest piece is. That's right. It's his, it's his semen retention. <laughs> right, semen right. retention gadget. So anyway. The, the edgers are secretly on. They, they know this. They're but, like, the, but they're not telling anyone. Darn it. They're, they're ruining our secrets of edging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's pretty much all I learned. And then YouTube shorts are good. That was the only other thing. What do you mean shorts are good? 
the new future of YouTube, it was like almost an advertisement, this entire thing to get these creators to do shorts is that they're pushing that really, really hard. They're really trying to kill TikTok. Uh, and it is an instant way to boost subscribers. Really? It's just like, a, it's actually a subscriber bot. And in five years, every channel is going to have 10 million subscribers. And it's going to be like, because you know, how TikTok actually has a more subscribed to creator than YouTube. And it's been around like a ten Way less, less. Yeah. Whoa, that's crazy. Who is it? Is it Mr. Bean? It's, uh, it's Cobby or Bobby Charlie D'Amelio. I think it's, they both have around 130 million. Cobby's the highest, I think. Which is higher than PewDiePie. Who is Cobby? Cobby. He's uh, this uh, Italian guy. He's like Senegalese and Ugh. Italian. And he makes like no... <laughs> No spoken word comedy videos that are just like very. I would oh say they're very like understandable, like across cultures. Right. Though he has like a very large appeal. It's basically finding a video of someone doing something dumb, like a five minute hack or whatever, and then making fun of them uh, by doing the task simply. So it'd be like like someone who's like, "Hey, quick task, gentleman to Zipper, can you find one of these?" Yeah, yeah, gentleman Zipper, please show it. us this man and Zipper what he thinks he does. Zipper is like, a, is like a tie. Zipper is like a he's oh. like a he's a tie with a little top hat on. Yeah. And mm. a monocle. And it's all kind of floating. Instead of his usual it's gimp like the, suit. The Microsoft. Is that a helper. word you can say? What is it? Gimp suit. If you were talking about it in an academic way, sure. Mm. For instance, I'd like to see you in a gimp suit. <laughs> <laughs> what academics are you in? Uh I can, school. School. <laughs> okay. School study. Them. Right. School them in the study. Yeah. That's right. School that's them, man them, all, all that. Yeah, that's great. Well, that's wonderful. I want to observe you. In the suit. What's I want to see you in the how suit. How do you spell Kabi? How do you spell it? K-H-A-B-Y, I believe. K-H-A-B-Y. Mm -hmm. Dude, let me ask you a question because mm. you're a streamer. Meow. Do you know it now? Now it is you now. Listen, Kai, how do you say his name? Cnet. Cnet. I sent it. It became the Cnet? second most uh, no, most subbed. Most. Or most? Yeah. Okay. And he beat XQC, right? Uh-huh. XQC, soon after, put his subscriber count on the stream. Uh-huh. Was oh. that because... He doesn't like being silver metal. I mean, it's probably because he saw maybe the success of getting more subscribers with a sub goal and had no reason to before. Maybe he doesn't. He doesn't now. even have a sub goal. It's just like on. I think he's yeah yeah. Well, like I think having it is. Does a, it, it, do you think he's like son of a gun? I'm not number one, and now I'm gonna have having no fun. fun. <laughs> I mean, I, th I, I certainly sun, think if you're no. number one for that long, you want to retain it because if you lose it, it's part of your identity and people roast you. He said that he doesn't specifically care about being it, and a lot of people have tried to, like, come for him. Okay. But I think, like, it's something that you... He clearly tries to retain by streaming that many hours, and... He's, he's the Nancy Pelosi of Twitch. He's retaining. Yeah. For sure. Just, a lot of retention is, there. Uh, is, uh, you said CNET? Kai, Kai, Kai CNET? Was that, was Senate? that who made fun yeah. of you? Or Senet? Yeah. That was... He, he made, made fun of you? Oh, you guys haven't no seen this? No way. Say. Zipper, what? please look up CNET Ludwig clip. You'll find it really? instantly. Really? It is... Uh, gentlemen, it is it is a very very funny endeavor. Funny I love clip. I love a gentleman getting roasted I by say, a fellow gentleman. I want to preface this by saying blasphemous. Blasphemous? Is it about your bear, your gentleman berries? I would be weirder if it was. Does he want to <laughs> see your berries? No, he Do does you, not want to see. Why my not? Do you don't have you have you I, asked him? Is that, that his hundred k goal? See no. Ludwig's why? berries. Why would that be a? Would you ever collab with Kai Sen Sen Senat? I don't know how much I could offer, but yeah. Well, he you could just be a punching bag for his jokes. <laughs> that's that's yeah. kind of hype. Fun. Oh, it's not? No, not particularly. Even though that's kind of like how it's been. Oh, this is it? Yeah. I ain't trying to be out there for bro. They talking about some parties, bro. I ain't trying talking to about TwitchCon. Oh, oh, party, bro. That shit is probably staying. We could turn a party on <laughs> Look, you can go. Bro, imagine you walking that motherfucker and you just see like... No, no offense to the light, you just see like a Ludwig ass nigga just. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> he got his beard. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they all just start dancing. Oh, oh my god. Man. Yeah. He is, he is. He is the most sub streamer on Twitch. I'm not on Twitch. No. Not you. Kai. Oh, I thought you said sub, like submissive. That's what you, oh, yeah, and then you automatically thought that was yourself, mm -hmm. because you were, <laughs> yeah. and then no, I was like, not are. very gentlemanly, and then, and then my retort was, I'm not on Twitch, <laughs> not you, that I'm not Do you sub. think that you've created an aura for yourself where it's easy for you to be the heel and the punching bag all the time, and everyone's a little nasty, little dumpster? Yeah. 
why do you, do you, do you, are you happy with that? Yeah. Because you used to you talk about how X did that a lot to you and it made you feel bad. Well, I don't think his comes from a point like that is much more in jest and X's would, would be like, we're playing Russ and he'd be like, Ludwig's a rat in stream sniping, which is a lot <laughs> different. It's not like... <laughs> He didn't do that like, because you were cringe. He just did that well, to right. well, were you? advantage. Yeah, but like, don't say it. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Like, keep it to yourself. That's fair. I think about that a lot because I remember that was back when like you were, when you were starting out and you were getting a little steam and a little hotness and your, your sweet little bare body was just getting a lot of attention and people would make fun of you and I'd be like, doesn't this ever make you mad, make you upset? And you're like, no. No. And I was like, why? And I, he verbatim said this. I think he said this before. He's like, they just want to be my friend. And I was like, that's crazy to that. You don't remember saying don't that? I remember saying You've that. said that multiple times. That's probably true. Shaka. I think it's true. That's what you kept saying, which ironically became uh, the opposite, became a catchphrase of yours. Uh, but it, I was like, Dan, Ludwig truly has lied to himself. I think those who aren't willing to play the heel and willing to be the punching bag are just less funny. That is true. They've added less humor to the world. It's be, and I think that bravery of yours, because you're a brave mm -hmm. gentleman, mm -hmm. you're a soldier, has led to you being <laughs> de, de facto the heel because most people aren't willing to do it on Twitch because they have low self-esteem and are shells of humans. See, I, now we entered slime territory. Tell where... me I'm wrong. <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. I've been right. I've been right through all of the you everything know what sucks? the past week. You know what sucks? Right, you've been right through all Whoa! this what? Damn it, no! Whoa! That's two. You said three. Wait, how many? You said the S word, then you said the F word, oh, then you really? just said D. Dude, I didn't even know about the I S will, word. Do we I all will, get a pass? I will, no, I think we should make it just one, because it was all in one emotional I'll take sentence. Three. I don't one care. One single demand. Uh, I think Aiden should have a redo, because he kind of choked his. Aiden? All right. I'll wind uh, up. And then uh, I will say one of my favorite comments that I've ever got, by the way, audio listeners, once again, Aiden standing up to backhand slime. Aiden choked the last one. Setting it up here, going about foot away. Nice. No follow through, but not bad. And uh, my favorite comment I've ever received on any YouTube video ever came two days ago on a mogul mail. And it was like, I, because I talked about how my mogul mail channel is doing better than my main channel. That's video. crazy bears. It's doing way better. And I was talking about that. And then someone replied and they're like, hey, I love watching like Kai and Aiden. And I don't like your main channel stuff at all, but I love watching your mogul They give me some insight and make me feel smart. And I was like, I love that. <laughs> yeah. I would love for people who like watching those guys to come watch me for mogul mail. Honestly, <laughs> the, the, nothing you do on mogul mail is impressive besides doing it in one take. Yes. Other than that, you're just saying what happened. Yeah. Mm, no, you're not special. I give opinion. Yeah, but it's always the most middling opinion you could ever have that takes zero risk ever. I don't like risk. <laughs> and I also don't think that polarizing opinions are helpful in our day and age. Well, what if you have savior. them? I don't often. And so th you're, I'm very benefited. Oh, yeah, you're the interesting. I'm very benefited of the dowdy. Yeah, you know this about me. I know. But what I'm saying is, you're by default less interesting because you have such middle of the road opinions. When I, I am electric, I don't I think, think you shy that, away from giving opinions. You are electric. I don't shy and away. Also, He's just saying so much more wrong. His opinions are very <laughs> polarizing, and my, mine are more boring and tame. I'll yeah. give my opinions. I just think they're more tame. I think people are sick, me included, of those opinions because I think everyone is that. Everyone is a polarizing opinion, Andy, these days. No, not true at all. Our, the <laughs> phrase "hot take" has been said a million times. Hot take is like a shorthand for just being, just giving a, an a opinion take. that that minorly oscillates from the center. That's what it transformed from. But right. hot take didn't start as that. No, but nothing starts as like when it becomes like a ubiquitous thing. Nothing starts as like th that that sort of Wrong. middling thing. You started bald. Look at you now. I didn't start bald. <laughs> you were born bald. I yeah, wasn't. Well, you were born with well, hair. I, I don't I remember ah. you with hair. Well, you don't remember me with hair. That's was it? Did it ever that's happen? messed up because when you were hammered at Pat's house and I farmed you like mm -hmm. a like a darn, uh, darn vasectomy written. farm. We're talking about me remembering things, and you're picking one of the two occasions I blacked out on. He was blacked. We didn't farm you though, and we turned you out like a little freak. We what, sat there what, and milked you. What happened? I don't know. I steppied. Oh, Stevie Bear. He broke, broke it. He broke it, man. But I, 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 I do. That is to say, I've been dumping on you a lot right now i like mogul mail and i think it's great but i think it's also babby's first opinion because you are just so wrong i think your mogul I... mail would be terrible you should just no but you did it 
It's like a, it's a funhouse mirror reflection of Ludwig's mogul. So here's mail. why he's wrong. <laughs> and I'm just a psychopath. Here's why Hans Niemann should literally die, <laughs> and then you would like go into it. You guys, you guys see, Magnus made an official statement finally. Yeah. Up. And he, he confirmed that he, he believes he's been cheating. Been cheating. Drama. He, he, Drama he, in the chess world. He believes in the deep uh, electronic device in his colon. He also said in an interview that I was his good friend and that he's going to maybe come commentate chess boxing. Whoa. I don't Drama like maybe for. there because you told me. What up? Definitely. You, you told me definitely. Definitely. That's, well, I asked him and then he was like, yeah, I just got to make sure it works right. And then I sent him the date and he's like, yep, knew that. It's funny. It doesn't matter it, what you told Nick is definitely. Because Magnus in, in the in the a statement, he basically said like the, the gist of what he was getting at was like, there's some things I can't say, but Hans Niemann's rise to his current skill level is highly unusual. And he seems to be oddly prepared and not even focusing while he's playing. And it's funny because Magnus has played versus like 12 year old grandmasters. Who have gotten to that position in unprecedented times? Interesting. And Hans is the is the the difference for him. And he's like, no, this dude doesn't have what those twelve like, year olds have. He's like, it's just he's moving too quickly. And there's <laughs> like there's like ten year olds he has to think like verse. I wonder. I I did read that and I was like, man, it must take such an understanding of the game. I have no dog in this fight because I don't care about chess or know any of these people at all, even a little bit. So I was like, can you be such an expert in something that you know what a trajectory even looks like? Where it's like melee is usually how I compare these things. Where it's like, okay, what if someone got really good in a year and they started like beating uh, this happened none or something, right? I think this happened with the Pichu player. Well, that that's what I was gonna say. The Pichu kid on a was, way smaller scale, but it, yeah. but but yeah. that was literally he cheating the because that person was modifying the game on the on the low and making Pichu's moves slightly better. Yeah, and then they got found out because people were like, wait a minute, and then they said the government told them to do it. It was true, which it was the, it, crazy. Just it was, a crazy it was, arc. It was melee crazy. History. But I think the initial inkling of maybe this person is doing something that they like deceitful was that they were rising so fast and they're crushing everyone in their scene. Yeah, that's a good point. In an point. unprecedented way. Yeah. And I think that's what Magnus it maybe is a parallel from Melee to yeah. this. But but to answer Nick's question, how is that different from the genius 12-year-olds that well, he the has difference to... is that it takes them years. I the guess. difference is that he's made the claim. He's never made this claim before. No, I'm sorry. I meant the difference between like I just thought it was funny. I wasn't actually like testing the idea. I was more like it's funny that he's played people who have become grandmasters in 12 oh. years of their life. Which is insane. Also, kind of unprecedented when it happens, right? But then Hans gets to that level potentially. I think, well, part, partly is Hans beat him first yeah. time in two years. Right, right. I also think it's kind of like I guess RuneScape. a twelve-year-old has never beaten Magnus. Yeah, it's like RuneScape. We're going from like zero to like ninety level ninety-two takes as much time as going ninety-two to ninety-nine. And so it's like getting to grandmasters hard, but then getting to like a point where you're beating Magnus in like a in super his, grandmaster in, in a format that he hasn't lost. Yeah, that's in like, like forever, that's like yeah. that's like as much work as getting to grandmaster. Is at all. Hans Niemann the J Mook of chess? He mm. either is the J Mook of chess or the Pichu of chess, and we'll find out in yeah. like a few yeah. weeks. I think he would be the J Mook if if, if, if he was because Hans has also played for a long time, right? Like yes. his rise is he didn't start playing like a year or two ago, and then this all happened. That would it be was, crazy. Yeah, 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 that would be is, like your team. This, he's been playing his whole life, but yeah. there's been this like giant improvement in this like short period of time since around the time and, of beating Magnus. And there is right. there is potential that he is J Mook, but then you look back six years ago at a VOD and you you realize that J Mook was the Pichu guy, dude. And you go like, wait, this guy's actually very good at melee, but one time he cheated. Yeah, and, and, should, like we, and should we consider that now? Yeah, when he's winning, and also his accent change, and I still think that's weird. Yeah, me, me and Hans's Ludwig, accent me and Ludwig were driving on the freeway, and we mm -hmm. were just listening to Hans's accent change. Because our theory is that like his whole life has been chess; he's only spent time consuming and hanging out with chess players, so he's just adopted like a snooty accent, <gasps> a gentleman accent. So I'm, yes. gonna, I'm gonna take it off. He has a gentleman accent before, because I've done a video with him when he was like 16, like two and a half years ago. He was like this kid who like lived in New York, and he was like he talked like uh, I don't know any kid would like any guy you she would New York. Is he American? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He was born in like San Francisco. Was he just talking like he wants a bagel? No. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> what? What? Boston PD. Why? I said New York. <laughs> <laughs> I like that video a lot. Uh, okay, so Boston he, PD, I'm gonna urinate on your face. <laughs> <laughs> that was that one. Boston PD, I'm gonna sound in front of you, and you're gonna watch it. <laughs> I'm coming in. <laughs> Uh, I, yeah. was, I thought one of you was about to get into marriage. I was so ready. Nah, he urinate. spoke. He spoke like a normal American, and then now he speaks a little bit like 
I and I don't it, I don't know uh, yeah, like if I uh, I no one thinks I cheated, but I, and I it, really like, yeah, yeah it's, it's very it's so extremely cringe. It's it's an accent from nowhere. It's just like a a posh person. What is that I'm, called when it's an accent from social settings as opposed to from your cultural background? Are you thinking of like Necro. code switching? Yes, which is not what you're what you said, not, but I can tell you're getting at. I that. wanted you to say it because you're by. So <laughs> thank you for a, that. Is it, a, is it an LGBT code. thing? Yeah, is, yeah. It's, oh. but yeah. It's so like. Okay, he's nodding no. Is it is it joke. like when? Can you say the word for me? Is like when? Gay, gay, gay people, gay people. <laughs> say <laughs> words with like a lisp occasionally. What? What? This is like when your friend uh, called you in the car, and then I said, "Is your friend gay?" And then you, I would say, ridiculously responded, "How did you know that?" And I was like, "Come on, really? Yeah." Which is not you don't need. You just need to use your no, ears. Tell me how they are. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. What are they like? No, I, I yeah, all you, of them the yeah. same. What are they like? Everybody's the same. It's it's the community is a monolith for one. Let's get that. <laughs> That's let's, true. Let's get that. And they out all there. attend pimped out cum dump. No, no but I think the allowed. idea. The, I think the idea. <laughs> you're getting close. That's close. You're fighting with fire. Over <laughs> That's there. just what it was. If he's speaking to you in this like odd new changed accent, that is not code switching. Code switching is adapted how you're speaking to suit the social situation you're in. Like adopting like an accent or dialect to communicate better mm. with like the social group like that a, you're within. Like a personality chameleon. Like you it, in certain groups you become a certain Is the gay accent can I call it that? The gay accent. I'm not gonna sign off on 100 this. Hundred gay accent. Can you wait, wait hold on, can you shake my hand real quick? <laughs> gay accent, thank you. Uh, oh, appreciate no, that. Locked him in. Locked him in. Locked in. Uh Gentlemen's is agreement. that code switching? It's not, right? If you okay, so if I were if I were gay like Zach was not code switching I, to talk to me. No, 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 no. That's not what code switching is. And that's why I was confused because what you were describing is not necessarily code switching. Code switching would be like if I, if say I'm communicating with you guys or say I'm talking to my family at home and I talk, uh, I talk one way. I choose, I, I talk in slightly different accent. I choose slightly different words. But then when I like talk to, uh, say, say, say I'm gay and I like talk to my gay friends and I talk in a, like a, a with a associatedly like gay inflection. Which I think when I hang out with people who are gay, I do adopt to some degree. Or like a better example of this would be like when I went home for my family reunion and I'm talking to a bunch of Canadian people, I sound and adopt like more Canadian characteristics mm. in conversation. That is what code switching is. But this is. is pretty much the same. I feel like when someone like moves to London for two years and they come back and they kind of have an accent, it's kind of the same thing. If you're exposing yeah. to people from a certain place in the world, they have an accent. Code switching, rub is, off just, on you. Code switching is just the idea that you are often often subconsciously switching the way you speak to adapt to the social circumstance and like hans is not necessarily code switching code switching would be if he talked in this like weird fancy way all the time when he was talking to chess players and then he switched back to his normal accent that he mm. used to talk to you guys when he spoke to you guys code switching requires a base self he kind of does it requires switching he, like, and i feel like i imagine when he's back in the states he doesn't talk like that on I don't stream know. he kind of talks one way and like in interviews he talks another yeah. way i don't know if he streams as the much most, like, i, 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 I think know. like the most like prolif or maybe prolific actually is appropriate here even I make fun of original it definition. using that word wrong, but uh, no, I got it right. It, example of this is a lot of uh, black people in the U.S. have to adapt their accent when communicating in like workspaces or with white people to come across as more professional because A-A-V-E is not seen as it, like it's professional. considered unprofessional and to white people scary because yeah, they're racist. Yeah, so they shit, like so, yeah. a lot of black people just adopt or like take on code switching without even necessarily thinking about it because it's like the way they like survive in professional America. So, I think when you're around that age like Hans is, you're really like your accent is more malleable than if you had like lived somewhere for a long time. He's like young. if you you know that uh like if you li look at like old interviews of the One Direction guys, like when they just moved to LA to like start their music careers, they have like pretty heavy British accents. We're playing a bit of footy. <laughs> a bit of footy. Yeah, yeah bitch. <laughs> Kiss <laughs> us four, yeah. They just yeah. got. They just got. <laughs> thick Excellent. Oh, he's back. Accents. <gasps> it's our first one. Uh, Can I do it? Demerit. No, no. The next person up is Nick. Demerit, demerit, demerit. Demerit. Please give him a good one. All right. So Ludwig, uh, Ludwig is going to receive a slap, a backhand. Actually, he from said Nick. it in a British accent, so it should actually be twice as hard. Because the British, um, they, you know, they're the most dapper of us all. But <laughs> even though they have a a dead mom. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, that was a rough one. He's going to mess up again. The fake out was rude. <laughs> he was flinching. I was. Bit of footy, that. Bit of footy. Wow. If, you look, if you look at interviews with like Harry Styles now, his accent is super Americanized. And I think this is a comment, or or like our friend Sam, Damn, yeah, who is like originally from the UK, lives in New Zealand, like be, has not lived in America very long. He has a super Americanized accent because of his like online social. Yeah, he just grew up playing video games so, with Americans. Uh, it's just it just happens. Like I don't think Hans is like faking that. It's just something that can happen. No, I don't, I don't think so. He's probably extremely cringe. Uh, can we say if that? If he cheated in games, he Even probably is not. Really I think it's cringe. I refuse to do, that. to do that. To call people cringe or cheat. To call people cringe. Why? It's an ad hominem. Yeah, so what? I refuse to participate yeah, in ad mail, We get it. Yeah, bring the news. Come on more. We don't <laughs> know <laughs> if I'm What's mobile the mail. Update? We've never seen us in the same room. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it could be a different guy. It's a different guy. I don't know why I keep getting this. <laughs> <laughs> who put on who put on fear and pod on the topic? Oh, board? it was me. Because why do you keep showing up on that darn podcast? Why are you getting tricked out all over town? How many times are you going to show up on Fear and Pod, you weirdo? Well, I've done it twice. Well, that's two weird. Times. That's two more. That's that's why more than once. To what? be fair, in the amount of episodes that they have had, it is rather shocking. But then I realized that Connor was there with you, and then it made a lot more sense. I wanted to get lunch with Connor, Sea Dog VA, who's in they town left? for a tour. Are they left? They've got. They're gone. They're in Chicago. So sad. Connor. So I got lunch with him, and then before lunch, he was doing Hassan's podcast, and I think. In part because sometimes they do two guests, and in part because he doesn't know Connor as well, they asked me to come on, and so I That's, showed up like an hour late. You didn't even watch it because I was literally on it for about thirty minutes of the hour and a half. I'm just saying that's cringe to bring someone on if you don't know them and bring them. You're someone just trying to, to find a reason not like. I'm this. not trying to. Are find you a reason actually like this? saying it's cringe to bring on someone you don't know? No, no. What I'm saying is, the, my ha- brother in Christ, you Has- said, "Who's Mark Rober?" Dude, Hans uh, Hassan, uh, the Hans of Turkey, is <laughs> <laughs> is. He brought on someone. Did you watch the episode? No, but I'm just going off what you just explained to me. But why he do you have an on opinion? Someone, he brought on you because he didn't know Connor that well, even though it's like, why do you need like a social glue when your job is to be a podcaster? So I'm, I just you take put the this on the board without seriously. having watched it. That's dumb. I, I wanted you didn't to make, even know what happened. I wanted to make a joke how you appeared on their podcast twice and it's been like so few episodes. Hold on, but I think, okay, so he's not right, but I think his logic behind thinking in principle it's weird to not be comfortable bringing someone on if you don't know them is fine if that's what he thinks gentlemen he can he can think that without watching post rationalization even if my gentleman even if even if because he watched Mm. it he might learn it's better that you were there right uh yeah i i I don't even if it's not my my point is that watching it would inform him that it was a good idea i just wanted to make a joke and then you said something that triggered me which is someone not lib not being will i'm a triggered lib. lib Because someone was not willing to, and Hassan's great, I like Hassan, but like not willing to just jump in with someone he doesn't really I'm know about. I'm also assuming that. It's not like he said, but I you need said you it for that. Very definitely, so I'm going off that. So now you're the evil one. Your mogul male has taken a turn. <laughs> Is how to basic mogul male? <gasps> do, 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 World may never know. Do, do, do. Anyway, yeah, it was, I went on. I told him that Fear And is a bad name. It is a bad name. No. Well, I was telling, I was telling Ludwig, I was like... Uh, Everyone loves a preposition. I was like... Fear ends a bad name, and they have a bad logo. And he goes to me, he goes, you should tell them that. <laughs> and I was like, no. Hey, here's some unsolicited <laughs> Wait, isn't the, idea, isn't the idea, isn't the idea that every, oh. Seinfeld, you're Seinfeld, you're Seinfeld. Oh, he also said that S word. <sighs> you didn't even know. You're not a gentleman. Who's, who's up next? Wow. Is, it, is he a gentleman? Yeah, yeah. I think he, I think he is no longer sit, a gentleman. Just sit, just sit. Yeah. Um, Waste of our time. Posh. The idea of the name is that it's always them and somebody, yes, right? It's like it's the, the, it's it's like the, it's like the friends naming convention, but I don't like how they switch between the Anderson, Cooper, and then also the and written You out. don't know what the logo says unless you know the name of the podcast already. Oh. It's too confusing. It's like the Scar and Tove show with the rotating logo. Yes, and they would do Tove and Scar and Scar and Tove. Not great. Um. Also, to, b- by the way, Hassan asked me to play Valorant and I was sleeping because he was playing with Nick, I uh-huh. believe. And then I, I responded like an hour later. I'm like, I fell asleep. Are you guys still playing? The next morning he messages me. He's like, brother, it was, it was 1045 you at, ju- at PM. You just woke up. And I was like, yeah. And I, I, was, I messaged Nick and, and you guys. And I was like, please tell him I'm actually like this. But I think I was just dodging him, dodging him when really I was just actually asleep. Oh, I didn't asleep. understand you were actually like this message. Yeah. Yeah, you sent that. And I was like, you told him. Yeah. I don't yeah. Need to he tell just him. didn't believe. We him. had we had that one episode where I was like Hassan's ghosting me for playing Valorant, and then uh and then he messaged me recently. He's like, I'm so sorry, I was not ghosting you. Let's play Valorant, and I'm like down. And then he just ghosted me again. And then <laughs> and then we went to his house recently for the bidet shoot, 
And then I got home and he messaged me seriously tonight. Let's play. And I'm like, great. And I had to find an account. He's iron. So I had to find an account to play with him. No, no, I, no. He's hard stuck iron. No, no. He's bronze now. He he's said out he was now. bronze. He's out now. Bronze three. Right? Yeah. Boosted. He's bronze he's like, boosted. like his, his beautiful body. Uh, so I, uh, <laughs> I, I, made a, I made an account named I will save hip hop hashtag bars <laughs> and uh, queued with him and his friends. And yeah. it was a great time. Dude, the stack was crazy the other day. Amaranth was like, learning Valorant. Anyone want to help me out? Did you see that and stream? And the stack was crazy. Did you see her stream uh, yesterday? I didn't watch the stream. Who? I just saw the stack. So she's getting taught Valorant by like three Turkish guys. Oh, that part. Yeah. That was the weird. stream is amazing. Because she's just like. And then she got like a bunch of famous people. She's like, what am I doing? And they're like, buy the Vandal. <laughs> and I'm not going to do an accent. They're like, by the vandal. They're looking vandal, vandal, and they're like clapping for it. It's like, all right, now walk Queen. forward, dude. It is so amazing. Oh, Queen. Queen. But it's, Queen. it's all the people in chat who are still beating off watching. So it's like this hilarious stimuli compilation. Yeah, it's like the guy on a uh, chat roulette way back when I had the horse mask. I tell, I've told oh, that yeah, story before, story, but dude, yeah. I found out there's a website that shows the top YouTube streamers, and that that is crazy. The people who are at the top. Not streamers. It was a it was a priest from Nigeria oh. who does an hour and thirty minutes straight of like, I, I like God, like like prophet the Lord, like Joel Osteen on crack. What? Like he would have two hype men who'd repeat every last word he said, and he'd be there, and he'd be like, "God is with us," and they'd be like, "With us," and then <laughs> and then they would do that for an for an hour and a half Dude, though. This like is just the full Beastie energy. Boys. Full energy. <laughs> How many viewers do, does he get? Eighty-eight thousand. Wow. Wait. What so what, did, what is the measurement? Like, is this is this viewer minutes? What what's yeah, the metric the for largest? Streamer. The most viewers. The most viewers. Like the concurrence most, of anybody on YouTube. When I was looking, they had the most viewers. When I was looking. Oh, just at the total at, happened yes. to be at the time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There's no website that tracks that stat information like all time. Yeah. Uh, his name's Pastor Jerry. Can you look at Pastor Jerry for me here? Zip. Zippy. Do you become a religious Zippy. man? Zippy. Zippy. Me? Do you watch Pastor Jerry? He made like, a you know million what? dollars in super chats in the past six months. So I think Whoa. I might join. I think I might hop on the train. Dude, the religious grift just gives. It's also, grift. that's tax exempt. It's not a grift. He's closer to God. You don't get it. Yeah, but it's tax exempt. Hey, Amen. There he is. Pastor. Is that Pastor Jerry? Wait, hold up. Go to videos. Pastor Jerry Easy. Uh, this, yeah, the, yeah, click the thumbnails. Look like click battle on, rap thumbnails. Click on uh, <laughs> which one? Oh, click wait. on the second. Sec, uh, oh shucks. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, Lord, every, every stream is a battle rap with God, and he wins. Yeah, yeah. Click on that one. Click on that one. God wins, and then, and then go deeper in of it. Of course, God wouldn't no, lose. No, Jerry wins. If, if Jerry's beating God in battle rap, then he's God now. Let it double by that's one thing that's when it happens that's so interesting was that that looks like a bracket if you sweat your eyes this is hype yes they do that for an hour and a half and then they do some testimonials and then they farm money <laughs> this that's is hype. Just hype, have yeah. It. yeah it's they funny there's it. that there's that like uh, end of the sentence inflection from like uh like southern like pastors where it's like, and God, like they, but it's, it's imported into a different language, which is really interesting. It I, might have come from there too. I it know. could have. Yeah. I don't know. It's just the Do only you think Jerry's buying private jets like the TV. I think, I think Jerry's trying to take down Joel and the whole thing. That's why we have to give him our money fast viewers. All right. <laughs> Stop giving it to our Patreon.com. Go we got to give super Jerry. chat your favorite thing about the yard. Super chat your favorite thing about the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe that he saved us. Yo. You know what Jesus Christ wants to know? You're 16 digits on the front of that piece of plastic. <laughs> and the Holy Ghost wants to know the three numbers on the back. I can't forget about Jesus. Did you see my idea, Aiden? Uh, yes. You, you yes, want to hear my, my merch idea? Lovely? Yes. All right, so it's a shirt of Jesus being crucified. But instead of Jesus, it's Aiden. And he's wearing headphones. And it says, unbothered. <laughs> okay. And he's just smiling and bleeding on wow. the cross. Mm -hmm. I think like in, I would, in my head, it's really life. good if it's violent. It's blasphemous. No. no, it literally is. No, mm -mm -mm. wait, it, yeah, it literally Hold is. On. I'm calling gentleman hotline. What'd they say? No, I yeah, don't I'm, think yeah, they know. <laughs> not what blasphemous. blasphemous means. They said it's. They said it's not. It's certainly. It's literally the word blasphemy. You can't spell that. No, it's unbothered. Blas. So, <laughs> you know what this reminded me of is 
on uh, on Mario Strikers Online, they would show this the striker of the day, like the best performing person in ranked that day. Baddest and it would, binge. And it would show their me that they made. Because you logged in with like a me when you played online. The striker of the day one day was Jesus, a Jesus Christ me. <laughs> and that's so, he's a striker of all the days. Yeah. <laughs> if you think about it, Jesus, Jesus wins and strikes them all every day. <laughs> yeah. and all the he, haters I'm, and the sinners. I was with my grandfather at, at his house, like at my grandparents' house. And in my head, I'm like, Grandpa loves Jesus. He'll love this. And I'm like, look, Grandpa, it's a me like Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're the striker of the day. <laughs> and my grandfather just told me, it's like, I'm pretty sure that's blasphemy. Wow. Yeah. And I was like, what? And what? it's like such a big deal because like Jesus isn't the striker of the day usually. <laughs> yeah. And he just stepped on that idea. And I this think... is, this is, this is my anecdote for understanding blasphemy for the rest of my <laughs> life. Like... <laughs> if anything, that was like a beautiful homage to JC in all he did. Yeah. 27 he years, homage. 27 you goals. you can give an homage to Jesus. Jesus I, never I, I, glitched I, I, a day in his life. That's true. Well, Jesus walks, homage. Uh, Jesus no, it's not an homage. An homage is like for media. You're thinking Jesus of fromage, French. Means cheese. <laughs> no, you're thinking of pomage. Isn't, it, isn't, isn't a bit an of homage an, more referential? Like not so directly about something? An homage, yeah. It's like a spiritual reference. Uh, uh, I it's, don't like, know. it's like if you do a bit that's from Seinfeld in a different show, but you Hold don't up. say Seinfeld, that's an homage, right? Calling the gentleman's hotline. Okay, wait, what are they saying okay? now? That's why I'm bit. Right. I'm bit I'm also talking to you. Uh, okay. No, no, it's busy. Hello, Is gentleman it? here. Yeah, I Number one, actually, so you can report to me first. <laughs> no, you can merge calls. Yeah, I'm here with him. <laughs> right, yeah, no. So, it's actually opposite so it day. it is actually... It's opposite okay, day, so, so whatever. Correct. Why did the gentleman well, know said, so much about you Jesus? You said correct, and it's opposite day, which means that you're wrong. Fudge! Uh, I had this really funny idea, and let me... I, I pitch it to Ludwig, and I think I'm going to do it before this episode comes out, but if I don't, someone can steal it. But basically, on Twitch, if you type the words, I'm 12, in chat... They will uh, flag you immediately and likely ban your account. I don't believe this, by the way. No, this happens all the time. It happened to Shannon, who works at Beyond the Summit as their social media manager, and she did it as a joke, and she got banned from Twitch. And then they had to ask to unban her so she could look at analytics on the Beyond the Summit Twitch pages. Uh, this happened during uh, Ultimate Summit. Hmm. So, so this does happen. Uh, I, but, so I had this idea where it's like a Jonestown-style like cult where I, I give like a sermon and at the end of it, we all we like all we all drink the Kool Aid and we type <laughs> "I'm 12" at the same time. Now I thought this was cowardly because for Jonestown to be successful, the leader must also fall. The leader also does have to fall. So you have to type it too. So I have to type it too, or uh, Ludwig suggests that I just like show butt. I think it's a countdown timer, and at the end of the countdown, you it shows his butt. Yeah, and, uh, I, but I think having my ass say "I'm 12" is like definitely not also a good. Also, showing taste. your butt to most likely people who are yeah, that, that's also line. really bad. So maybe like gore. <laughs> you could say the c word, cracker. Oh, I could say cracker, but I, I could just do it with them, right? That's what Jones didn't do, uh, Jim Jones. He shot himself in the head. He didn't drink the Kool Aid. Oh, do Lim that then. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. But I think I think it'd be really funny. I think it'd be a little publicity. I stunt think it'd be great because I, it's such a it's weird. It's only system. great if you get banned. Yeah, I do have to get banned for it. Which I mean, they they'll have to because I'm like disrupting their system and I'm making them look stupid. So they have to like. I think showing your butt is funny and harmless to children. <laughs> I think it's better to <laughs> not. We tried oh. so hard to be gentlemen. Yo, dude, imagine you're showing your butt and the chat is spamming. I'm twelve. <laughs> 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 you have like thousands of people being like, I'm 12. Yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> and you're like, almost like they're trying to get you to stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. And they're getting 12. banned left and right. Yeah, and then Twitch and, and is hiding it. Twitch, Twitch is, is hiding, hiding it by banning them. <laughs> and then the article is Twitch hides you pedophile. Know, <laughs> <laughs> I will never bail you out. That's not true. You will bail me out. I would instantly bail you out. <laughs> I love that. And I'd bail you out if I had to. Yeah. But <laughs> you would have access to my money, so. Yeah. But if it was my own money, I would do it. I appreciate that. Yeah. We ride together, we die together. Shoot. I wouldn't bail out Aiden, though. Because for mm. once, he could learn a lesson. <laughs> wow. Once. Come on, come on, it's quick. Me. Oh, no, it's actually not me. It's, Aiden. it's Nick. It's Nick. Back. 
You are a terrible gentleman. A lot. You know, I wasn't born for this life, was I? By the way, to all the commenters, could we could we do a gentleman rank? Who do you think is the most gentlemanly today? Not just maybe in outfits and looks, that should be a big part of it, but also in behavior, attitudes. Perhaps which one of us wore the newest, freshest suit? Obviously not the best. I mean, it could newest. be a, it could be a value system it that got, you have. If, you, that, if that's what appeals hey, to you, the made, newest, freshest suit. Made the best gentleman win, that's what I like to say. Yeah, it says the guy with the bolo tie, so that's crazy. It does speak Django vibes to me. What does Django got to do with this? <laughs> Django Unchained. <laughs> and it's just a, it's, a, it's a bunch of moms drinking wine. Can we, can we talk about the bidet shoot? Yeah, why not? We, so, you guys didn't know anything about this? No. I only no knew that it was happening. Anything. So, we, we, did a, we did a shoot where Ludwig delivered all of his bidets and installed them for the people that he owed bidets to. Uh, and, and we went... <laughs> The shoot went horribly. <laughs> we, we showed up, and the first thing, actually, I gotta leave this part, the first thing we did, the first thing we did was we flooded Hassan's house. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh your... like, actually, this wasn't a joke. And Hassan no. doesn't know. No, so I was, <laughs> I turned off the water, but I forgot to drain the basin You didn't of the drain water. the toilet before so unplugging I had, it. like, 1.6 gallons of water in there, and then I unscrewed the cap to it, too, so two failure points, and then water came gushing out. Just like slime on a Sibian, and <laughs> and and it was everywhere. Yeah, the bathroom yeah. just had a layer of water, and luckily Hassan's bathroom has one of those like drains, like that like showers. That's just the the room level. is the shower floor. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so you, we we were able to scoop it into the shower drain and then throw out. We we threw out all the garbage of like we, because the only thing we had without letting Hassan know this happened was the paper towels he had in the bathroom. So, in an effort to make a video about saving toilet paper <laughs> and installing bidets, we wasted like four rolls, and then we carried out the trash like Scooby Doo, where where Ludwig is saying to Hassan, "Whoa, look at all these things you have!" and I'm running the box out of the house, <laughs> and we got the whole thing on video. He has no idea. I think the shot's great. I think I saw something on LSF though, where it was like, a, a, like "Oh, he now knows. He now knows. Yeah, he now knows. Yeah, because we went to a couple other houses. We went to Myth's house. I I messed that boy's." toilet up bad really it, it, it is unusable oh yeah and then, and then we broke we broke myth's toilet and which is funny about that is we showed up and he had a he had a bidet that was in a box mm -hmm. like oh i just haven't gotten around to installing it so we did the office space bit and we took it out back and we broke the yeah. out of it yeah okay <laughs> we we broke it like gentlemen and <laughs> and uh and it was funny and then we we broke his actual toilet and yeah. the bidet didn't fit that's crazy. So he just and then we left. Then we so you, left. You guys are just leaving a smoldering <laughs> yeah. trail of toilets. Yes. Like, like Dark Souls. Yes. All over God, the land. What happened? To what, did you do anything to Leslie's? We no, crushed that. One went that. great because we had practice. I was that like point. a 10 minute under speed run. I crushed it. The only problem is I, she was concerned. So I told her that I had a 50 50 success rate. And then she went on stream and said that Hassan saw that, reacted to it, and it got around. That I was going to all these YouTubers houses and destroying their bathrooms. Yeah. And then Hassan was a little <laughs> concerned. And he called me this morning, and apparently it's all good now. And wouldn't it be funny great. if you guys went to Leslie's and there's a big old turd in the toilet? <laughs> would you would you flush it or would you ask her to I take care of it? Flush it, of course. What? And I would never tell her. It would be funny to leave it, be like as is. We we left it as is. No worry, no scratches, <laughs> no dinks. Just as you showed us it. That would be sick. Turd included. That'd be so funny, I would bro. Throw up though. You would, yeah, Lud, Lud is a weird thing with hair, I learned. Really? No, it wasn't. It's, is that why you like me so much? <laughs> yeah, because I know you'll never get your hairs on me. Uh, no, I know. I, so first of all, I was I, I worked at Mary Maid's for a summer. And he kept I bragging it. about that. He kept bragging that. I, I admit Mary. I proved it that day. <laughs> what was that? Are you a gentleman? I thing? proved it that day. You proved that what? You I cleaned? Lud, you cleaned their toilets? Lud, you broke two toilets. Ludwig, you've had maids for two years now. I'm you talking about I lifted up their toilet seat and Cleaned the piss, my mom my mom made me crust. my mom made me clean the bathroom every your week your own bathroom yeah and it was gross because I, I was a Hassan's gross little boy myths in Leslie's piss you think I like cleaning my own piss I am cleaning other people's piss we're not the same I'll allow it my piss I also could have sold it for also we had dozens. roommates growing up because we were poor as heck and I'd have to clean off Teddy's piss. And I heard him jerk off in the shower once, and that was gross. This is not very gentlemanly. That's uncouth. Oh, I, I'm, I didn't grow up to be. A, I did, didn't grow up as a gentleman. Hey, did start Teddy, from the bottom. So think about that. Ejaculate. I sounded like he did. 
did Teddy expose himself to you? No, he was in the shower. The door was cracked. My door was cracked, and it was across from the bathroom, and I just heard him beating off. That's it good. It sucked. That's good. That is good. That's healthy. Let's talk about that. Let's dig into that. Let's dig into that. It brought you to the gentlemanly world. I'm just saying. It. I, well, I haven't really thought about it until now. Uh, but but basically, I have more street cred than you. On cleaning toilets. Yeah. On, no. And on roommate street. Because I have to go in the same bathroom where a grown ass, grown man was beating off. I worked at Mary Maid's for three months, and the only job I was given was the wet job because all of the other <laughs> women who worked there didn't it's like the me. second Italian job. <laughs> it was just Seth There's Green the dry the job and the wet job. The dry know, job's just vacuuming. Do you know who had the grossest toilet? Who was it? Leslie and her big turd. No, it was actually beautiful. That was immaculate. It was myth. Really? It was definitely myth. Did he have a big turd in there? To be fair, Hassan's mom comes over a lot, and I'm pretty sure that's why I was. Clean. Does myth live alone? He does not. He has. Uh, it was actually like a streaming dystopian uh, house. Uh, yeah, we basically just destroyed everyone's houses and then went home. That's great. It was great. Yeah, that sounds like a great video. It was. It was I think it'll be, turn out it'll nice. It'll be a better video than we planned. I think it was exhausting. Yeah, it was. Tr I was trudging. Yeah, setting up a day is not fun if the toilet is not optimal. Yes, it's really, really. Yeah, annoying. I got at my place. I have the bidets that we have here, and it doesn't fit my toilet. It's like a Frankenstein freak. Do you have an elongated bidet and a round seat? No, it's like the it's it's like it has an underbite. And the bottom of the toilet comes out past the bidet toilet. Yeah, so seat. you have a, so you have a. There's two types of toilets in the world: round and elongated. You probably have an elongated seat, but which a round is, bidet. Ah, uh, yeah, which is necessary for me and my berries. So you need an elongated bidet, which and I have. Does Swipe have the thing for you? Swipe Plus. They are very nice. Yeah, I'm surprised that they are nicer than the ones that we have. That's hype. Wow. Yeah, they're 500 bucks. All so. out. Yeah, they better be. It's the bougie. Yacht. There's a, there's oh, wow. a budget wow. option as well. Yeah, we got the normal attachments too. Yeah. You know, in, in some cultures, they just hire a guy to spit water into your butt. Who said this? Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> no. Somebody <laughs> right said. Right before he died, weirdly enough. <laughs> on stream that bidets, I think they said, Ludwig said, and I never said this in my life. That using a bidet was like a slave splitting and in, spitting into your butthole, and I and I was and I was and I, I forget who said this, but I was mind blown at the comment, and that reminded me of that. Yeah, you. I don't think you've ever said that. I wish it was me who said it. I'll say that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think we learned something today by being gentlemen, and it's that you know sometimes when you're a gentle when you're a when you. <laughs> Sometimes when you're so, when you're a gentleman. What's, are you getting like horny? What's I think he's on? having a It stroke. looks like someone turned on an anal bead in you right now. Wow. And you're trying to focus to finish your sentence. When you're a gentleman. <laughs> it feels so good to be a gentleman. And now you're reading into it. <laughs> now you're feeling That's it. That's one of my favorite jokes in Wedding Crashers when he's getting jerked off under the table at dinner. Vince Vaughn is. And, it's, and he like laughs at something. He's trying to like not show that he's being pleasured. He's like, she's joking. Feels so good when she jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of a movie guy. Bit of a movie buff. Bit of a movie buff. You know me. I know you. Uh, I want to know about the, the juiced drama. Dude, the drama is that X has no friends, no crypto, no wenches, mm, no uh, harlots. You can say, gentlemen can say hoes. Can? Can a gentleman say ho? Mm, Depends no. how many. A gentleman would not call a woman a hoe. But no. he's saying wench all the time. That's yeah, a gentleman. That's, that's, a gentleman that's would like say. even worse. That's like a that's like a hoe that like has to do manual labor. Also, gentlemen, can we defer together about this? The, the gentleman. I don't my phone. Gentleman hotline convene. Gentleman council has convened, and we accept wench is the proper term. That's crazy. He's got no birds. He's got no friends. No, he does have friends, but it is harder to get people for the show now. Post drama is what I've noticed. Juiced, yeah, juiced being, the juiced being the XQC show that's being announced and the one I've been working on for like six months. That looks great, and I think will go great. I've just noted it's it's slightly harder. This is what you get, you d you dumb you dumb little man. Me, you're a dumb little guy. I don't have, feel like you're a weird and dumb little guy. Have the people you're asking seen the tray flip clip? I've linked that exclusively <laughs> as the initiator. No, no, of the no, I know what you're thinking. Just look, look. He, <laughs> they all and say, then, and they go, "Very cool." I admit, Dang. but I still cannot do it. <laughs> oh, no, dude, you're stupid, and and you're 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 a nasty little guy. Is there a part of this that I don't <laughs> understand? Trying to, go ahead. You've been talking about how he's a nasty little guy the whole time. I was getting to that. 
but a gentleman would let me do it. Yeah. A gentleman me. allows you're me allow to be me. free. Allow me. But you're trying to cage me like a gentleman animal. Gentleman? Like a, j- like a gentleman. Put constraints like on a other gentleman. gentleman. Like Donkey Kong who wears a tie because, you know, he's a, he's a businessman. You are. He is a gentleman. Continue. You are dumb because you're, you're joke. You, you're like life is like, oh, I'll, I got it. I'll, I'll count on influencers. Yes. That'll be good. That's my and job. And it's been the most painful S ever. And it always will be. Yeah. You think working with esports players sucks, which it does. Mm-hmm. Work with influencers who have their own individual power all the time to say no to stuff. God, why do you want this? You're also talking like this is not a general human problem, all right? It is. It is not a general. It's a general human problem. But the thing is, normal humans don't have so much agency that they can just say no to everything and be rewarded for it at all points. And that's influencers. And it's I, 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 I think about you handling juice and I get stressed and I'm not even part of it because I'm like, God, that must suck so bad. I think it'll be fine. I, I'm not worried about it because it'll work out. If I have to get Atrioc and Sands in there, then hey, so be it. That's disgusting. What's wrong with that? Say. All right, Atrioc's quitting his job officially. That's true. All yeah. right, he's a fresh piece of meat on the market. Throw him on there. He's a dirty little fish of a guy. He's available. Oh, by the way, this is a news break. He's quitting his job at Nvidia to work with me. Yo, off well, brand. It's a little bit. He's not working in mobile. You you that- you're all larping. You're all larping because every part of off brand. Which is just me asking stands to please reply to me for four days mm. straight, and it never happened. I'm not full time on it yet. Oh, that's a we're gonna get full time on it. Atri- Wait, is Stan's gonna, gonna be full time on it. He's gonna go more in, yeah. More, more in, more in. Yeah. You can't say full time. Oh. Oh. So she's not gonna stream it. Bam 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 Show me, show me the proof, and I'll and I'll swallow my words. Like, uh, like, speaking of the proof, you have something to do too. You haven't been doing your job. What did I do, man? We need to do payouts for multiverses. And I got a DM from Crazy Slick, and he said, I think I'm going to go broke, and I need money, and I am owed from this tournament you ran. Multiverses, And huh? although I do not agree with the actions he did, I also owe him money. Yeah. And I think it's wrong to not that, pay is out. Is that a real DM? This is a real DM. I thought you were kidding. DM. It no. wasn't after the thing, though, right? It was It was after the thing. No way. Not, like, right after. It wasn't like, like, it came out, and he was like, yo, and he, like, collecting the bags to go to Cancun. But it was, like, this past week. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, I guess I got to do that. Also, multi- also similar similar Fortnite DM from money. Slicker. Did I do? Wait, really? Multiverses? It's Fortnite money, huh? It's multiverses. I I didn't get pinged for this, so this is this is the TO's fault. It is. I literally didn't get pinged for this because I handle. I gentlemen don't talk about work during pleasure. Multiverses. Time. I, I swore back back in me. All right, my turn. Oh my god. That's the gentleman. Sometimes gen- gentlemen switch up. That's the gentleman mix up. They want they want the woman to know that they could be a gentleman or a gentleman. <laughs> I switch up like Neiman. Who is that? Hans Neiman. Hans Neiman. Yeah. Because he switches accent. I don't know who that is. Um Let's okay. The so yeah, we'll him. figure that out. And you then I'll, there, alongside right? I, when I pay Crazy Slick, I'll say inshallah, I never see you in real life. Freak. <laughs> and that'll be nice for me. Yeah. Cathartic. That would be cathartic for you. Yeah. But yeah, we have to do that. Fine. Also, we have to pay out all the people. I, t- I didn't get pinged for it, Ludwig. I will do it, but it's the first time hearing Whoa. it. And that's the problem. Oh, my gentlemen. Gentlemen, gentlemen relax. Please. I mean, we're all, we're all gentlemen here. What's no, I'm not. What? I'm not a gentleman. What? what? That's right. It's a gentleman show. No, I'm tired of this. I'm not a gentleman, we're bro. Di- I'm getting... I'm done. Don't take off the top. You keep the... You keep the top button. You... D- stop. Slime. Stop, stop unbuttoning. No, stop up, it, bro. No. Now I'm casual. No, don't keep taking buttons off. Don't no. I am not a gentleman, and I'm tired of lying and pretending that I am. Show me those blueberries, Susan. <laughs> oh no, he's no. gonna show us the blueberries. I will Wait, show you the blueberries. Don't show us the member. Don't show them to Susan. I shouldn't. It, it's tasteless at this point. But you're not a gentleman. And I'm not a gentleman. Why what? do you hate the gentleman life? Because I can't be free. Would you rather be free and demonetized? I think there's a happy medium we can reach because we've been getting monetized and we say things like and and butthole and slam dog 
Yeah. Uh, does this scare you? Yes. Yeah. It's, you don't it's, like well, it? I don't feel fear because I'm a gentleman, but uncouth. I don't like but it. But it kind of, oh, it's uncouth. It's uncouth. Well, what's uncouth about me, you in the parking lot, my face, your ass, huh? Are we, How about that? Are you eating my ass? I'm from the streets. Am I getting. And eat? I always will be. What? And do, it, the demonetizing uh, hey, demon. What? Patreon. What's, crazy slick. Hey. F them all, bro. I'm tired of it. Oh, you too? Let's go. I'm no longer a gentleman. That's right. I, you know what? I'm really. Let's rip off the tag. Rip no. it off. Rip, rip it, it off. Rip, rip it off. Oh, Wait, come on, do it. You want to give it a good yank? I don't want to ruin it. Can I? No, I can't return it. If I give it a good yank? If you pull it off, I can't return it. Is this it. like a challenge? Like, if you pull. Look. You. Are you yanking or not? All the, all the <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> all the momentum is done. But yeah, what a momentum killer. All, all the momentum Jesus is done. Christ. Why did you just on? do it? You really it are a gentleman. Because you don't have that dog in you. I'm a gentleman. I wouldn't. Anyway, guys. Now, but now, now that we aren't gentlemen, we can we can be dirty. Yeah, we can be. We can nasty go back guys. to who we are. That's right. And, Fine. And that. Yes. Yes, sir. Gentlemen. No, dead. no more gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Cool. Do you feel hey, free now? Hey, yes. Save that. Save. <laughs> All right. Let's get into the bonus episode and goodbye, uh, fellow gentlemen, but not me because I'm not one. That's right. I'm from the streets. Semper Fi. Play, Play little footy Play with the lines. It was great. I had a good time. It's just like on and off. It's authentic. Sometimes you're on, sometimes you're off. It's never been off. Eh. Give me a phrase. Uh, <laughs> I went to the store to get some money. Play little footy with the lines. That's great. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was hanging out with uh, I was hanging out with some people the other day. 